Happy New Year's everyone! So today's art demo is going to be another acrylic string pull, but this time with a resin clear coat. Welcome back to the studio. So I couldn't resist that birch string pull I did last week. I had to put a resin clear coat on it and it looks just magical. So I will link that above if you haven't seen how I did that for last week. So this week I'm going to do a tutorial on the actual making of the acrylic string pour, but then stay tuned because I'm going to show you how to mix and add a resin clear coat to make it just kind of storybook magical. So let's get started. So I'm taping off the edges of this birch cradle board because this time I want to leave a raw wood edge or side on this piece and I really love the way it turned out so I think I'll do this on the next one too. So get that tape on there and just burnish it with a popsicle stick and that means rub it down and create that seal. Then I'm going to go ahead and use my Arteza ready to pour acrylic paints. These are amazing. No mixing is required. You just put the paint down and you're ready to go. I've used these in Dutch pours and my feather string pulls and they work great on this project too. So I'm picking out three colors in different gradients and then I'll get my white out which you can see I've used these paints quite a lot. I love them. And I'm going to start from dark and go to light and create a gradient pattern on my board before I start doing my string pull. You will find links to everything if you click down in the description below the video and that'll make it real easy for you to find these products if you so desire. And now I cut a piece of yarn to be the right size for my board and I start putting my white down on the yarn and I really tap it in with my finger to saturate it. And don't worry, I'm working on my Loli Veffy craft mat. The paint peels right off these mats. I love them so much, they're amazing. So then I'll take my yarn and I'll pull it kind of taunt and I'll begin creating my string pole trees.
The reason I'm using these acrylic pouring paints and this pouring medium paint instead of just a heavy bodied acrylic paint out of the box is because you really need to work wet on wet. You want your bottom base layer to be wet when you bring your string and your white paint over it and that's what helps create this effect. And now I'm using my scraper that comes with my Lowly Veffy craft mat and it's a perfect tool for creating a smaller tree and I take it and I swipe up and then I swipe over a little bit to create the tree um, width without making a huge tree with my string and it's also a perfect tool for creating the little branches and wisps that you want to be coming off of those. And now I'm taking a little fan brush that I have and I'm just dipping it in some white paint and flecking it over my board to create the snowflake effect. And if you've watched any of my other videos, you'll know that I love to add a little bit of sparkle. And that's what I'm doing here. And then I'm gonna move on to my resin. And so I'm gonna gather my supplies. I always wear a respirator. And these TCP measuring cups are amazing for measuring out your quantities. Art resin is a one-to-one -one ratio. And so I'm pouring half hardener, half resin, and then I mix that together for about three minutes or so until it's really well combined. And I've poured a lot more resin than I need for this one board and that's simply because I have a couple other projects on the sides that I'm also going to be pouring. You wouldn't normally need this much resin for this one board. I love adding art resin to my acrylic projects. It just takes them to a whole nother level. And I love the way it softens the look, but also really pops out the sparkle and color. And now that my resin spread all over the surface, I just take my culinary torch and give it a quick once over to pop those bubbles. And here is what it looks like before it cures. And now I've let this cure for a few days and I'm going to pull off my tape. So unlike my last one where I painted the edges, I love the raw wood look on the edge and that top coat of resin. I'd love to know what you guys think in the comments below. 
And I really appreciate you watching. And if you haven't yet, I'd sure appreciate it if you'd hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to ring that little notification bell if you want to get notified of when I launch my next video. Happy creating, everyone, and have a great day.